The last few days of the island expedition's ultimate adventure tour take place in the lush Belizean rainforest along the Moho River. We spent the days paddling our inflatable canoes and the evenings camping, like real camping, which Steve and I hadn't done in decades. Our two mine guides shared their deep knowledge of the land and animals we encountered, while our North American guide helped keep camp and the paddling running smoothly. They were outstanding. Our local guides identified countless plants and their various purposes, led us on hikes through pristine jungle landscapes, and left no tree unclimbed to help us take a better look at all that was growing around us. Their many skills kept our urban-oriented selves awestruck. It was a fantastic, immersive experience. Unfortunately, not only did we find ourselves immersed in culture, we also spent a lot of time immersed in the Moho River due to our novice paddling skills. Between that and bouts of rain, we were wet a lot of the time. Slightly overwhelmed, but undaunted on the first day, we felt confident we would get the hang of it all. Holy, we spent the whole day just going down falls and down falls and down falls and falling off our kayak, our river kayaks. Mostly falling off, occasionally staying on. Very rarely. Sometimes I stayed on and Steve fell off. That yeah. was fun. This was us after our second day of paddling. We're not good paddlers. No, we're not very good at canoeing. Uh, kayaking, we're good. Canoeing, there's just too much communication or something. Or skill. I think there's skill involved there. I think it's clear we're the worst of the group. Absolutely. We're at the back all the time and doing circles. Like getting donuts. Getting stuck. Yeah. And the guides have to come and help us, or one of our fellow group members have to help us. Yeah. It's kind of dispiriting. Yeah. Yeah. They're all Canadians, what? though, so they're all pretty nice about it. That's true. Yeah. It, Steve made the remark earlier this evening that it's very similar to when we tried to take ballroom dancing. We did. Uh, Deborah likes to lead, and when you're in the front of the canoe, yeah. That's not the leading position. The leading position is the back. And you're so supposed I to listen just, to instructions. I just feel I know. I know where I want to go. And, and you're just going to paddle there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sitting in the back going, why is she paddling? Why is she paddling there? We want to go over there. Yeah. But you're paddling. Yeah. So. We've had a, cl a few close fights. We haven't really fought, but it's been close. Yeah, a couple of times. We actually did get a bit better on our final day after some extra paddling guidance finally sunk in. We weren't getting stuck on every single cluster of rocks or logs within 15 meters of us, so that was progress. Despite our challenges, it was hard to stay frustrated in such a stunning setting. Even if you're paddling in circles, nature's beauty surrounds you.